Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Okay, let's go back to the discussion of the euro currency. This is the daily time frame as usual. Well, if you remember now our weekly research on the farm, we said that market has hit some significant support area that includes some weekly targets and daily and weekly oversold area. So this tells us that very probable that market could turn to some retracement on the lower time frame as is daily and as intraday uh, time frames. So that is going. Uh, that is happening currently. So we see that market has shown some pullback from this level. You could see that market has hit level of oversold on the daily time frame and start move to the upside. If you are a weekly trader and trader of the high time frames, we have shared with you with our warnings that's probably not best position, not best area to inc increase your positions or to establish the new ones. So probably it's better to wait for some pullback. But since this is the daily research, we have currently the bullish context on the daily time frame. Because you can see, trend has shifted to the bullish side by the MACD indicator and we should currently could trade on the, only on the long side of the market. Because we have no bearish directional patterns and if we intend to trade the trend directly, we could trade it only on the long side of the market. There are two things has have happened that we have discussed. First of all, you can see market yesterday has moved above the weekly pivot point and has confirmed the short-term bullish sentiment of the market. Second, it has broken the downward parallel channel on the 4-hour time frame. Well, that tells us that probably we should be ready to enter on the long side of the market. The ne next destination where market will hit significant resistance is right here. 126.20, 126.68 daily confidence resistance. That also includes weekly pivot resistance 1 and what is most significant monthly pivot point. Also take a look that this is also will be the daily overbought. So that is really significant area of resistance and probably market has market will respect it. At least Theoretically, it's very great probability that market should show some pullback at, at minimum from that level to the downside. Also, take a look that monthly that this area also includes the weekly pivot, um, sorry monthly pivot point. And as we know, pivot points usually tra are traded by the market in most cases in probability of really high, it's around 70% that during the period market will trade it. So, so somehow market is gravitating to the pivot points. And since monthly pivot point hasn't been tested yet, so this is increased probability that market probably could reach this level. Another reason why I think that market probably will reach it because of weekly oversold. It works as, as follows: that longer term, longer longer time frame, oversold and overbought overrules and dominate over uh, shorter term overbought and oversold. So for instance if market will hit oversold level on the weekly time frame it tells us that by retracement market probably could easily reach level of overbought on the lower time frame, on the daily time frame just as the reaction and just the retracement and uh, moving out from the oversold area on the weekly time frame. That also tells us that probably market will reach this area. So towards this is next, the next destination on the daily time frame and market probably should hit it during the nearest trading sessions. Let's take a look on the intraday charts. On the 4 hour time frame we have nice possibilities to trade. First of all, take a look at that. Market also creates an agreement. The 1618 extension with the same area that we have discussed just on the daily time frame. Trend is whole strongly bullish on the 4 hour time frame. So we have bullish trade trend as on the daily time frame is on the 4 hour time frame. And currently market stands not at the at the bot on the daily time frame. So it tells us that we could enter on the long side of the market nearest retracement that could happen on the hourly time frame on the four hour time frame. 
Second moment that could give us this possibility to enter on the long side of the market is this thrust to the upside. That thrust is in general suitable for the momentum bullish trade. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 bars to the upside. So market could really show some retracement, some pullback, since this is the first strike up from the significant move down. Probably retracement will be deeper than just a 3.8 support, nearest 3.8 support. So market could show some retracement to the downside, and this could be the brand by the buy. And that is what I particularly will be looking for during the nearest trading sessions, maybe even during today trading session. That could give us the possibility to enter on the long side of the market, but the target, as we said, is around 1.2650 area roughly. It's right here. So, uh, on the hourly time frame, we could see some more details of this potential price action. So, you can see that hourly trend has turned bearish. It tells us that market is probably start this retracement to the downside. Take a look that we have two levels of support. First, the nearest one, 124.82, but the most significant and more preferable and the level that I will be looking for is right here. This is hourly confidence support, 124.45 area. That also includes the weekly pivot point. So market has broken to the upside. It could retest it from the another side. So this could be some kind of the ABCD retracement. That will be also the retracement of this potential bread and butter trade. And that in an area where it could enter on the long side of the market. So if this will really happen, closely watch for this level, 124.45. That is an area where market could stop retracement down and reestablish move to the upside. That will be a very suitable and nice opportunity to enter on the long side of the market with a relatively uh, tight stop and significant pot upside potential. So that's our current view on the market. Watch out for this level. Watch out for the retracement of this to the downside. Probably it could happen as the ABCD move. If the market will create an agreement with this level, this will be much better. And use this level for enter on the long side of the market since we have currently bullish daily context. And probably market will proceed a bit higher. 